Absolutely. So I'm Ali. Um, I lead the European marketing team for EA Social Mobile Publishing. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about FIFA 13, the improvements from uh, FIFA 12. There's four key things to take away from this uh, today. Uh, one of the things is about improved graphics, so facial recognition, stadiums, that type of thing. Uh, we have multiplayer for the first time in FIFA 13, which is something that you know people have been calling out for for a long time, um, and it's here this year, which is fantastic. Um, we also have EA Sports Football Club integrated into the title, which is truly cross-platform, uh, works across you know PC, console, and now mobile as well, which is a great development for us. Um, and those, those are the key points to uh, take away from today. And also, yeah, in, improved controls. So we have an extra button uh, this year, which enables you to do more skills and tricks and overhead kicks and all that kind of cool stuff that, uh, that people, people love to do. So I'm going to just take you into a quick match, uh, single player mode here. Um, so it will be Chelsea against Arsenal. Uh, choose the right colours here. OK. So here you can see the four buttons, and you can see this additional skill move button here, which I'll talk to you about a little bit later. Okay. So one of the things I just want to show you here very quickly, if I get into instant replay mode, I can show you some of the improvements in graphics on FIFA 13 versus FIFA 12. So if I zoom into these guys here, so you can see Fernando Torres there playing the number nine shirt. If I zoom around a little bit, you can see that that clearly is Fernando Torres and the facial recognition in the title is a vast improvement than it ever has been before. I think this adds to the realism of the game, makes it a much more visceral experience um, and that's something that people have been asking for as well a lot, so it's there, there this year. That's a big improvement. Um, if I just zoom back out a bit, you can see here that we're at Stamford Bridge, which is Chelsea's home ground, and you can see that it's much more true to life. So from the stands and the kind of see-through uh, windows at the top here, it's all very accurate and true to life. I mean, the attention to detail is, uh, is much more than it's ever been before, essentially. So that's something that the guys have been working hard on um, in the studio. Facial recognition, better stadiums, added realism, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to come out of this and uh, give you an indication of the gameplay here. So in FIFA 12, we had three buttons when you're in possession. Pass the sprint button, so you get an injection of pace there and then the shoot button. And then this year we've also got um, an additional skill move button. So if, uh, if I hold down this skill move button here, I don't know if you can capture that. Uh, so I'll hold down skill move, and then depending what combinations I put together, you can see that the guy's gonna do skills on the pitch. So if I just do that one more time, here we go. Skill move. And you can see he's gonna do some skills and things like that. So that's... Uh, that's a big difference from, uh, from last year with FIFA 12, which would add more depth to the game. If I just give the ball away here, what you'll see... Uh, I'm tr if I just give the ball away... <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, I scored. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best goal I've ever scored in FIFA. Uh, all right, so <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that. <laughs> no, I'm just that good at FIFA, basically. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, well, we'll jump on a bit in the demo, and I'll show you. <laughs> Um, a little, just one extra feature here. So if I come out of that, I can hit instant replay here, uh, and again I can zoom in and I can see, you know, kind of all the detail of the players and things like that. If I hit play, that's uh, largely the same as in as in FIFA 12. So you can see here, there's a YouTube uh, button here. So now for the first time, players can upload their best goals. Uh, to YouTube so they can show off to their mates. And that's something that's been asked for a lot in, uh, in FIFA 12. So we're quite, we're very happy with that addition. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna come out of this. Just wanna show you one more thing quickly before I go to multiplayer. If you can look at the, the buttons here now, whereas I had the skill button here, the fourth button now has moved to call second defender. So if I hit that once, you can see on the screen that I moved in and took the possession of the ball. So I'm gonna try and do that one more time. Just, uh, if I press second defender, you can see the guy with the grey. Okay, well, he was offside, but if I hit the cool second defender, this guy would start to press for the ball. Um, that's just an additional um, layer of realism that we've added to the game, essentially, um, and a key thing with people. So that's, uh, that's the core game mode. I want to show you quickly uh, multiplayer as well. So if I, if I quit this current game... Um, before I do that, actually, I'll just show you the addition of EA Sports 
Football Club. So on the top left, you can see uh, EA Sports Football Club logo there. If you press the EA Sports Football Club button, you can see all your friends from EA Sports Football Club, Power by Origin. And these guys could be on uh, any platform, console, PC. You've got your news feed here as well. Uh, so updating you on achievements that other players have uh, unlocked in any other platform. Uh, it doesn't tell you where they're playing the game. It's just, it's just one seamless kind of news feed across the EA Sports uh, football club world. Um, and also support your club. So any XP that you get in FIFA 12 iOS also contributes to your club um, XP uh, on, on all platforms. So it's truly cross-platform, EA Sports Football Club. Okay, so this is um, the online multiplayer mode. This has come to FIFA uh, iOS for the first time in FIFA 13, which is great. Um, so it's just loading up here. We have a bit of latency here, given all the Wi-Fi and connections that's going on in the demo room, but it doesn't make it the ideal scenario for demoing. But <laughs> And I've gone back to defending mode. Um, which is another thing that adds to the realism of the game, and it's another, another thing we brought in from the PC and console product to give it more depth and more, you know, make it more visceral, essentially. So those are things. That's all I wanted to show you. There's four, four aspects really. There's the multiplayer, which is the first time it's come to FIFA iOS, which is a really exciting development. Additional controls, so an additional button, which can be used to call a second defender without possession or to do tricks when you're on possession. EA Sports Football Club, which is. Uh, you know, truly cross-platform, PC, console, iOS now, um, and also um, improved graphics, so much better facial recognition and more detail in the stadiums and the environment you're playing in, and that's, that's mainly it for FIFA 13.